What's good, Chaotic Nation? It is your boy Chaos here, and today I wanted to talk about Pokemon Champions. Now, in every single region, there is a champion of the region that is the final test as you do your playthrough of a Pokemon game, and that is your ultimate goal as a challenger. You want to become the very best like no one ever was, and that means you become the champion of the region. Every region has one of these champions, but there is one that does it better than the others, and that is the Galar region. Leon is an actual champion, whereas the other ones kind of fill a role of a final test rather than an actual physical champion. So I wanted to talk about that today in our video, and that is going to be the topic of conversation for us as we go forward. The definition of a champion is a winner of a first prize in a competition. Every other region does not have an actual champion because they do not have a tournament or a competition of sorts to allow the trainer to win and become the champion. Every region has no competition. There is no tournament. There is no battle system. It's just going in and fighting the champion. And if you win, you end up taking over and becoming the champion of the region. The only requirement to do this is you must have eight badges. So I guess you have a little bit of a testing to prove yourself as a worthy trainer, to have an audience with the champion, and to fight the champion. But to me, this feels more like sort of like a royalty or some kind of monarchy where you're going to overthrow the king by defeating them in battle. So once you defeat the king, you become the king and overthrow it, which is more of a kingship or a queenship rather than becoming an actual champion. Galar has an actual champion for a few reasons. Yes, we do follow the same system as the other regions where you are required to have eight gym badges to enter the Elite Four and be able to face the champion. But there are a few notable differences. First and foremost, there are a few tournaments that you have to go through and a few challenges you must overcome in order to become eligible to challenge the champion. There is the Champion's Cup, which consists of other trainers who are on their journey, who have succeeded in collecting the eight gym badges, and they go together to fight and see who is the best challenger. That challenger then is able to join into the tournament against gym leaders. Each of the gym leaders has already proven themselves as a worthy opponent for the champion and for the league. So you fight them again to see if you can match up against their full power and are willing and able to be able to beat the champion. And then you finally get your chance at facing the champion. It's not until you've done several battles and won a couple of tournaments that you are actually proven worthy and are given the chance to challenge the champion to become the new champion. Like many other competitions, this champion is something that re-ups every single time they get into a conflict. This conflict being Pokemon battles. If they continue to win, they are still the reigning champion. However, once they lose, their championship is given up to the new champion who has overcome them. The big difference for Galar is there's actually tournaments, and as I've said, there's multiple tournaments, so you are very tested by the time you are facing the champion. The really good thing about Galar is it mimics what we see in the anime. We have watched Ash many times go and fight many different leagues, challenging them, facing trainers that we've seen before in the anime, seeing trainers who are BS Pokemon, like a team of legendaries for some reason, like, what was the Tobias arc about? That's a different story for another day. But you see Ash actively fighting against each trainer and each individual who has also proven themselves worthy by collecting eight gym badges. It's not just a straight up fight versus the champion, which makes the Galar region really cool because you're actually getting that chance to be like Ash, to be like the anime and to be like Pokemon sort of originally intended with this media space to actually do a tournament, to actually receive a challenge before you're able to beat the champion. I will not deny that both versions are actually really good tests of strength because you are required to fight multiple people in order to get to the champion. However, the competition aspect is the difference between why Galar actually has a real champion and not just somebody who is a governor or a person of authority in the region because they are the strongest trainer. It's an actual achievement that you've done rigorous training and rigorous competition to do. Of course, at any given point in time, somebody could overthrow you, which is the beauty of a championship, which is different from those royalty lines that we were talking about earlier. It's not like a big stake is put into the champion of a region. They are just somebody who is generally helpful to the region, a good person, and 
known as one of the strongest trainers who acts as a protector and defender of the region. Whereas a king or a queen would do those kinds of things, but if they lose, then everything else is gone and everything they've worked for is under rule of this new person, which can be a problem. Those are just some of my thoughts. I wanted to share this video with you. It's a really quick video, so I apologize for the shortness of length, although I know some of you like that, so I hope you have enjoyed regardless of the length of this video or the content of this video. I wanted to do some of these theories and discussions that I've had on my list of videos to make for many years. I started making a list of videos that I wanted to do when I first started running this channel many, many years ago, and I'm just now getting to some of these things. So this one I've had since Sword and Shield has come out and since I've beaten the game. So there's a lot of time that I've sat on this one and I, there's plenty more for every other game out there. So if you want to see more of these, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to see me do some more of the other stuff, I'm fine with doing that. I'm just taking a little bit of a break to kind of reinvent my creative juices as I begin to do a new season of life as we begin the fall. So stay with me, bear with all the changes, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below because that is the greatest way you can impact this channel. And if you wanna see content in a different way, that is your opportunity to use your voice and let me know. I would be glad to take your thoughts into consideration and maybe even do some of your suggestions the way you suggest it, and straight up. I'd love to hear your suggestions. Please feel free to message me in the comments below. Join our Discord server. Let me know over there too. We have a comments section like we do here on the channel. But if you have something particularly related to content that you want to see or you want to talk to me about, there is a specific channel in Discord for you to do this. So please join that. Of course, you can interact with me on my other social medias. I'm on Twitter. If you want to send me a tweet, I'm fine with that too. If you want to join me on my other platforms like TikTok and Twitch, you can check out some of the other stuff that I'm doing. Maybe get some ideas of things that you like specifically for those contents. And of course, I am on another YouTube channel called Invisible Corporations, where we do a bunch of variety content. There's a bunch of creators, so please go check that out. I don't do any Pokemon content over there because all my Pokemon stuff is here, but there is still Pokemon content over there if you enjoy Pokemon and that's what you want to watch. There's stuff for you to go watch, so please check all those out. They are linked in the description down below. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, well, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you're watching this video and you've enjoyed, leave a like. That's the correct way to say that. Please continue to support me. I would really appreciate it. And we are so close to 900 subscribers, so please share it with your friends. That's the best way you can help support me is sharing with your friends. This is what I, what I watch. This guy is fun. I enjoy the content. Please, word of mouth means so much in this day and age. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Until next time, my name is Chaos. I'm signing off. Stay safe. And as always, burn it up.